A US judge has denied Prince Andrew's plea to dismiss a sexual assault lawsuit. The lawsuit was brought against the British royal by Virginia Dufre, and the latest decision now paves the way for the case to proceed. In a legal setback for Britain's Prince Andrew, a Manhattan judge rejected the prince's bid to dismiss a lawsuit accusing him of sexually abusing a 17-year-old girl roughly two decades ago. In a decision made public on Wednesday, the judge said that Virginia Giuffre could pursue her civil suit against Andrew, in which she claims he battered her and intentionally caused her emotional distress while she was allegedly being trafficked for sexual purposes by late financier Jeffrey Epstein. The judge said it was premature to assess Andrew's efforts to cast doubt on her claims, though the 61-year-old prince could do so at a trial. In 2009, Epstein paid Giuffre $500,000 without admitting liability to end a separate lawsuit charging him of sexually abusing her while underage. The judge in Andrew's case said it was too soon to decide whether that settlement with Epstein clearly and unambiguously shielded Andrew from also being sued by Giuffre. The judge did not address the merits of Giuffre's claims. Lawyers for Andrew and Giuffre did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Andrew, the second son of Queen Elizabeth, has denied Giuffre's accusations that he forced her to have sex more than two decades ago at a London home of former Epstein associate Gillen Maxwell and abused her at two Epstein properties. Maxwell was convicted on December 29th of recruiting and grooming girls for Epstein to abuse between 1994 and 2004. While the claims against Andrew have not been proven and the prince is not accused of criminal wrongdoing, his ties to Epstein have damaged his reputation and cost him many royal duties. The judge's decision to keep Giuffre's case against Andrew on track means that a trial could begin in the fall if no settlement is reached beforehand. And we can get more on this story now from our correspondent in New York, William Denzelo. Just over a week ago, a hearing was held to provide an opportunity for Prince Andrew's legal team, as well as Virginia Dufresne's representatives, to lay out their reasons for why this civil case should or should not be dismissed. We heard from Andrew Brettler, who represents Prince Andrew. He said uh, that uh, Virginia, Virginia Dufresne's allegations of sexual assault against Prince Andrew were inconsistent and provided insufficient details. Of course, Virginia Dufre alleges that she was sexually assaulted by Prince Andrew when she was 17 in London, here in New York City, as well as in the Virgin Islands. Prince Andrew has vehemently denied those allegations. Now, in a judge is ruling, Judge Lewis Kaplan said that the law prohibits the court at this stage from considering defendants' efforts to cast doubt on the truth of Miss Dufre's allegations. A key part of this motion to dismiss also centred around a 2009 settlement reached in Florida between Virginia Dufre and Jeffrey Epstein, the late financier who Virginia Dufre alleges uh, was she was uh, sexually abused by uh, and was groomed to have sex with other rich and powerful people. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell was also uh, one of those that Virginia Dufre uh, accuses, who was found guilty herself of sex trafficking here in New York City jail health, um, courthouse just a few weeks ago. Now, in this settlement, Virginia Dufre was awarded $500,000. In return, also agreed not to sue any potential defendants. Now, Prince Andrew's legal team say that that shields Prince Andrew from liability, but Virginia Dufresne's representatives say that that's irrelevant and that Prince Andrew is not subject to Florida jurisdiction. Judge has made a determination on that. He says it's not open to the court now to decide what the parties to the release in that 2009 settlement meant. In other words, not making a decision yet as to who the potential defendants in that settlement could be and whether that applied to Prince Andrew. So very much kicking that issue down the road. Judge Lewis Kaplan has said in the past that he expects this civil case to take place in between September and December of this year. William Denzelow, New York.